club in actually I would just said 16 not 1964 60. but apparently a friend of mine who came with me has just pointed out has just pointed out ah right I'll start again shall I <laughs> as most of the folk as most of the folk club regulars know I am the Kathleen referred to in the obituary by Andrew I first went to the Swindon Folk Club in, I thought, uh, 1964, but the friend I went with has just reminded me that it was 1963. I was then just under 15. I was with my friend Viv, who is here today, and her brother Don. There is a picture of us at that at about that time on the wall in the room where the folk club is now held. I only recently realised that it was me. <laughs> Fascinated by the singing there, I talked to Ted about the singing at weekends in the pub I lived in, the Bricklayer's Arms in Longcott. Ted came with a few others to listen to the singing and he confirmed they were singing many traditional songs and the habit of singing most of the evening was also a traditional habit but not but not ha happening anywhere else locally that may have been because my dad was Irish and I was used to all the regular singing because it was the only place at that time, a few brilliant singers came from other villages. Ted picked out the two who did most of the singing and also started the night to get everyone else involved and in the singing tradition. And these are the two that Andrew referred to as the prominent among the locals were irrepressible dialect storyteller George Massey and singer Bill Whiting who was recorded by John Baldwin and Mike Jake Yakes. I went with Ted when he took them or both of them to different places for them to perform the few things it was possible the few times it was possible I still have fond memories of the extra singing with the folk group, which all the locals enjoyed too. The New Year nights, when several of the musical and singing folk people would come and add to these local singers, I have a great time, a great time over midnight. Also, because Ted and Ivy told us about the Bampton annual traditional Morris time and encouraged us to go, Viv and I would camp all weekend with other people while Ted and Ivy were there but they, they, were, with, they were with friends as they had become very involved with the Bampton Morris group. At that time there were various things that went on over that weekend plus watching the Morris dancers practicing, often in the garden of one of the pubs, which is now closed. And in the evening, Ted would, ru would run the singing in one of the pubs. I have been going to Bampton traditional day ever since. Took my children, and now my grandchildren. And always a point of being there at times, at night, with Ted running the singing. Often in the early years, there were well-known singers there. Recently, Marty Carthy has often been there. Last year was the first time Ted and Ivy were not enough to go, even for a short time. So every year I would be with Ted, when, you know, except the odd time when something else happened but I was with him when he did the singing and I so enjoyed it. Last, Andrew was also so right 
Andrew was also so right about Ted as someone who encouraged and supported other people. I would now, be, I would now not be singing publicly as now if it would not been for him. In addition, my partner Tony started Morris dancing when we lived in Sheffield. And of course, and of course, I always met people and made friends because of going to folk clubs where I lived or on holiday. Also, Ted's own also Ted's own singing and sings he he chose were great and fascinating. He also shared songs with me, so there are several we both sang, and I might sing one of them later. Now I must say that Ted and Ivy, and I should have said it in the first place really, that Ted and Ivy became like uncle and aunt for the involvement and effect on my life. And also my eldest daughter, who is here today, always enjoyed the contact with them and seeing them sing particularly. So I shall always remember Ted and, and have great love from him, to him. And Ivy, where are you Ivy? On all my love to Ivy. Next up is folk club attendees, but they're also members of the Swindler Community Choir, which is really lucky because we're going to sing you a folk song now by Coots Boys and Simpson, which is really appropriate for Ted and for Ivy too. Yep, yep. Wait, wait, wait. In two seconds. In two seconds. Words. words. We got the words. We hope the words are up there. Join in if you know it. I know. So.
we did the folk club um, uh, about six weeks before uh, Ted died, uh, but neither Ted nor Ivy were able to be there because they were both in hospital at the same time together, although in, in different worlds. So this is a song for both of them. We're the best partners this world's ever seen Together as close as can be But sometimes it's hard to find time in between To tell you what you mean to me You are the rose of my heart You are the love of my life a flower not fading or falling apart If you're tired, rest your head on my arm Rose of my heart When sorrow holds you in her arms at play It's raindrops that fall from your eyes your smile has turned to earth for a day You brighten my darkest of skies You are the rose of my heart You are the love of my life A flower not faded nor falling apart If you're blue let my love make you warm, rose of my heart. So hard times are easy times, what do I care? There's nothing I'd change if I could. The tears and the laughter are things that we share. Your hand in mine makes all times good. You are the rose of my heart You are the love of my life A flower that faded or falling apart You're my harbor in life's restless storm You are the rose of my heart You are the love of my life a flower not fading or falling apart You're my harbor in life's restless storm Rose of my heart Thank you. And it is when you'll all know and I only found out about eight years ago, it was actually written by my great-great-great-grandfather. So I feel like there's a special link with it, with me and Ted and the song. Um, so do join in on the chorus. I don't belt it out like Ted does, because I don't have that sort of voice. <laughs> While on the road to sweet to fly her room, her room. While on the road to sweet to fly her room, her room. While on the road to sweet to fly, a stick in my hand and a drop in my eye. A wildfire damsel I heard cry, Johnny, I hardly knew. With your guns and drums and drums and guns and rooms. With your guns and drums and drums and guns around, around. With your guns and drums and drums and guns, the enemy may slay you. Oh, my darling, dear, you look so queer, Johnny. Just 
skedaddle from me and the child. Johnny, I hardly knew you. Where are the arms that held me tight? Hello, hello. Where are the arms that held me tight? Hello. Johnny, I hardly knew you. With your guns and drums and drums and guns, hello, With your guns and drums and guns and guns, hello.
many years ago when uh, I was a young trade unionist, I uh, went on a TUC course at Swindon College and was amazed to see there was Ted Poole working there. And um, every time I think of Swindon, I always think of Ted and Ivy. And someone said to me at Sidmouth last year, in the Volunteer Riflemen's, no, not the Volunteer Riflemen's, that's a pub in Bath, in the Volunteer, the Volley, as we usually call it. Um, it's not the same without Ted and Ivy. And um, down at Tollpuddle, uh, they hadn't been for a few years, and we really missed them down at Tollpuddle. Anyway, this is a song I don't often sing in the folk world, although lots of people do, but I've sung it for many, many years down at Tollpuddle, Bread and Roses, to Ted. As we go marching, marching, in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill of gray are touched with all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses. The people here are singing bread and roses, bread and roses. As we go marching, marching, we battle to for men, for they are women's children, and we mother them again. Our life shall not be tortured from birth until life closes. Hot starve as well as bodies, give us bread but give us a roses. As we go marching, marching, a number of women dead come crying through us, singing our ancient call for bread. Small art and love and beauty their drudging spirits new. Yes, it is bread we call for, but we call for roses too. As we go marching, marching, we bring the greater days for the rising of the women. It's the rising of the race. Small art and love and beauty, their drudging spirits new. Yes, it is bread we fight for, but we fight for roses too. As we come marching, marching in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand male lost gray, are touched with all the radiance that a sudden a sun discloses. The people are here are singing bread and roses, bread and roses. Um, a long time. The um, song I'd like to sing, a ballad actually, is about the uprising in Dublin in 1916, about Mickey Pierce that was taken to a command and jail and duly executed. And he wrote a letter to his mother, and this is the song he wrote in prison. Here is mother, I am writing just to say I won't be home. There's something that I have to do, and I must do alone. They took me, and they put me in this lonely prison cell. Tonight my thoughts are with you, as I bid my last farewell. So say goodbye to Margaret. Mary, Bridget, and Michal, 
I have no words to tell you how much I miss you all. And though you may not know it, you know I've loved you well. So in my final letter, I will bid my last farewell. Dearest brother, won't you take good care of all the folks for me? Go home to Rathfarnham on the day they set you free. I was happy when you stood by me in all that we've been through. No one has ever had a brother such as you. So take good care of Margaret, Mary, Bridget and Michal. I have no words to tell you how much I miss you all. And though I didn't show it, you know I've loved you well. So in my final letter, I will bid my last farewell. Dearest mother, it's so very hard that now we have to part. If you knew the reason, it will trouble your poor heart. I have told you, since I was a boy, it was my destiny to die a true brave soldier, so that one day we'll be free. So say goodbye to Margaret, Mary, Bridget, and Michal. I have no words to tell you how much I'll miss you all. And though I didn't show it, you know I've loved you well. So in my final letter, I'll bid you all farewell. Thank you. Hold of the sun and sail on wild uncharted seas when day was done. Between two heartbeats we have known the long eternity of joy and soared above the fields of space the stars are toys I give my heart and gain my soul I'm only free when I am bound within shelter of your arms I'm lost and found You and I have drunk the moon and time nor death cannot subdue the part of you that lives in me nor me in you and the part of me in you will see the kestrel quartering the skies the endless play of night and day caught in your eyes and the part of you in me will serve to ease the breaking of my heart and help to guide me through the night when we must part.
Joke appropriate at uh, our funeral? Well, it's going to be. It's all right, so it's about two blokes are wandering around in the wilderness. Or in fact, it's two blokes and a dog. And they've got plenty of water, plenty of equipment, but no food. Finally, they eat the dog. They light the fire, they cook it, and they eat it. And after they're, they're sat there picking their teeth, <coughs> and one of them looks down and says, you know what? Old Rover will love them bones. <laughs> And uh, I just think Ted would have just loved this, wouldn't he? You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is for Ted. Um, this is about uh, continuities. Lots for you to join in with. You going to join in? Yeah. yeah. Of course you are. It's, it's got um, it's got a chorus and it's got um, a refrain and it's got a bridge, which you may think is a bridge too far, but anyway, oh. we'll see. <clears throat> but, uh, all oh, they are singers that we love as we sing our lives away And though we all fall silent in the end They will sing with us forever, they'll be singing every day It's not be too high All oh, they are singers that we love as we sing our lives away And though we all fall silent in the end they will sing with us forever, they'll be singing every day When we sing the songs they sing. For the song goes on in the songs we sing And when one song ends and another song begins Then the singers who are gone will be singing once again When we sing the songs they sing. Some are heard by many, and some are heard by few, and though we all fall silent in the end, someone will remember both the song you sing and you, when they sing the songs you sing. For the song goes on in the songs we sing And when one song ends then another song begins So the singers who are gone will be singing once again When we sing the songs they sing Sing the chorus, sing the song and the singers come before us will be singing right along Sing the chorus and refrain And the singers come before us will be singing once again We can drive away the silence of the grave that we all fear And though we all fall silent in the end Sing and you'll be singing with the singers you hold dear When you sing the songs they sing. For the song goes on in the songs we sing And when one song ends then another song begins So the singers who are gone will be singing once again when we sing the songs they sing, So if you sing along, you bring along the singers who are gone And though we all fall silent in the end Sing and you'll be singing both the singer and the song When you sing the songs they sing. For the song goes on in the songs we sing And when one song ends then another song begins So the singers who are gone will be singing once again When we sing the songs they sing Sing the chorus, sing the song and the singers come before us will be singing right along Sing the chorus and refrain And the singers come before us will be singing once again For the song goes on in the songs we sing And when one song ends then another song begins so the singers who are gone will be singing once again When we sing the songs they sing So the singers who are gone Will be singing once again When we sing the songs they sing So I'm
us travel along. I'm gone looking for fine mansions on earth's sinking sands. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Yes, build me just a cabin in the corner of glory land. In the shade of the tree of the life that it may ever stand. Where I can just hear the angels sing and shake Jesus' hand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Precious Lord, I'm not such to live in the mist. For I know I'm not worthy of such slumber as this. I'm asking for mercy as humbly I stand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Yes, build me just a cabin in the corner of glory land. In the shade of the tree of life that it may ever stand. Where I can just hear the angels sing and shake Jesus' hand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Many friends and relations have gone on before. On a fine old great morning, will I hear them all roar? Come join in our singing, come join in our band. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Yes, build me just a cabin in the corner of glory land. In the shade of the tree of life that it may ever stand. Where I can just hear the angels sing and Woo! shake Jesus' hand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory land. Cabin in a corner of glory land, in the shade of the tree of life, where it may ever stand, where I can just hear the angels sing and shake Jesus' hand. Lord, build me a cabin in the corner of glory. I haven't known Ted as long as some of you, only about 11 years or so, and uh, the reason I decided to sing this song is um, because it has a lot to do with Ted's lifelong interest in the lives of working people. And when I did this song with club, we had a long conversation afterwards about uh, the mining industry. In the town of Spring Hill, Nova Scotia, deep in the heart of the Cumberland mine, there's blood on the coals and the miners' lie. Miners die. Blood and bone is the price of coal. Blood and bone is the price of coal. In the town of Spring Hill, Nova Scotia, back in the year of '59. And the sun still shines. Dark 
is the grave in the Cumberland mine. Dark is the grave in the Cumberland mine. Down at the coal face, the miners are working. Rattle of the belts and the cutter blades. Then a rumble of rock and the walls close round. Living and the dead man two miles down. Living and the dead man. From the pit shaft, they then lay in the dark of sun. Long hot days in the miners' tomb. Three feet wide by a hundred long. Three feet wide by a hundred long. Days passed and suffer. Five days passed and the light gave out. And the leading man got up and said, There's no more water, nor light, nor bread. We'll live on songs of hope instead. For the bare-faced miners, listen through the rubble for the rescue team. Six hundred feet of coal and slag, both imprisoned in a three-foot sea, both imprisoned in a three-foot sea. Days passed and some were rescued, leaving the rest to lie alone. Through all their lives they dug a grave. Two miles of earth for a mocking stone. Two miles of earth for a mocking stone. Strictly speaking, it's not a folk song. Uh, the tune was written by an American uh, university professor uh, for a poet, a poem by a Turkish writer. Uh, I think, I think the subject was uh, dear to Ted's heart, so I think it's an okay song to sing, but it's certainly not cheerful. <laughs> I come and stand at every door. But none can hear my silent tread. I knock and yet remain unseen. For I am dead. For I am dead. I'm only seven, although I died in Hiroshima long ago. I'm seven now as I was then When children die, they do not grow My hair was scorched by swirling flames My eyes grew dim, my eyes grew blind Death came and turned my bones to dust And that was scattered by the wind 
I need no fruit, I need no rice, I need no sweets, nor even bread. I ask for nothing for myself, for I am dead, for I am dead. All that I ask is that for peace you fight today, you fight today, so that the children of this world may live and grow and laugh and play. Well done. Swindon girl, and we didn't realise until today that Ted and Ivy got married in the same church as we got married in, uh, Rob Orcini, all those years ago. But one of Barbara's huge influences, one of Barbara's uh, major influences in Swindon when she was uh, a live and listen teenager was the uh, Ted and Ivy's folk club. So it's always had very fond memories. This is a song that uh, we tend to sing on occasions such as this. Some people think it's a miserable, but it isn't. It's a song of continuity, it's a song of inevitability. And uh, you probably know the chorus, so please join in. Have you heard anything? No. <coughs> oh dear. I can find the note. <coughs> As I was walking one morning at ease, feeling the leaves as they fell from the trees, all in full motion appearing to be. Those that had withered, they fell from the tree. What's the life of a man? days ago, how beautiful and bright they did all seem to grow, a frost came upon them and withered them all, a storm came along them and down they did fall, what's the light of a man any more than a leaf? A What age or affliction upon us to call? Like a leaf we must wither, and down we must fall. What's the life of a man any more than a leaf? A man has his season, so why should he grieve?
and actually did, I'm sure. Um, it's called a song called Deny No Man His Rights. Deny no man his rights because he wears a fustian coat. All honest men that keeps the law should have the power to vote. To the champions of labour, throw open wide your door. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll be content with nothing less. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. They say that we are ignorant and don't know right from wrong. But we can tell them what we want and what we'll have along. Our program's very simple, give justice to the poor. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll be content with nothing less. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. God opens wide his mighty hands and showers his blessings wide. He never made this glorious land to pamper rich men's pride. Give back the rights upon the land our fathers had of yore. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll be content with nothing less. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. Deny no man his rights because he wears a fustian coat. All honest men that keeps the law should have the power to vote. To the champions of labour, throw open wide your door. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll be content with nothing less. We'll be content with nothing less, we'll ask for nothing more. it's appropriate for me as a Scottish person to sing. Um, but also, um, over the last few years, we've lost some amazing people in the folk world. And to me, folk music and the people involved in folk music are gatherers and, and um, lovers of people and everything that Ted would uh, have loved. Uh, I think this song encapsulates. I've kind of got used to singing it recently. And it's called A Proper Sort of Gardener. And I think that um, Ted was one of these. So here's to you, Ted. It's got no chorus, I'm afraid. Once upon a time I found a garden Picked the brightest things that I could see an apron full of Mr. Harding's flowers Didn't know that he was watching me Straight away my mother ran to tell him Wondering what he would say or do Mr. Harding smiled and said She's just a little child I knew that she'd be picking them for you. By the fire my dad would read me stories. One of them concerned a garden too. Where the lion and the lamb lay down together. Every lovely fruit and flower grew. The gardener let his children in to play there, delighting in the brightness of the day. When they went exploring, they took a fruit to taste. He cursed them both and sent them on their way. Even then I realized in my childish mind that 
he wasn't a proper gardener of the Mr. Harding kind. Mr. Harding's garden was all taken by lesser men with concrete in their minds. Factory chimneys grew instead of daisies. No butterflies from that assembly line. My mum, she faded faster than a flower. Dad sat in the darkness and cried. Mr. Harding walks a little closer than before, but still he tends the grave where they lie. Wherever it is they've gone to, I hope that they will find a proper sort of garden of the Mr. Harding kind. The foolish woman often feels despairing because it seems so difficult to find. The child tries to plant a little everywhere she goes that special love of the Mr. Harding kind. Someday when I'm older, maybe I shall find that I've grown into a gardener of the Mr. Harding kind. The owner's piece at the ceremony was a song called Rocks of Ball. And uh, I learned this song from Ted. And I should always, I always think of it as his song, you know what I mean? Very much, well, when I, when I sing it, I think of Ted, you know. He was the, for me, he was the king of the folk singers and uh, irreplaceable. So this is the rocks of Bourne. For any of you that don't know, Bourne is a place in Ireland and it's very rocky. So to plough the rocks of Bourne is the impossible task. So, rocks of Bourne. Come all you loyal heroes and listen to me. Don't assign for any master Till you know what your work may be For you must rise up early From the clear daylight till the dawn and I know that you'll never be able for to plough the rocks of Now rise up, lovely Sweeney, and give your horses hay, and give them a good feed of oats. Before you start the way Don't feed them on the soft turnips Put them out on the sun green lawn Oh, they never will be able For to plow the rocks of Now my curse upon you, Sweeney, for you've got me nearly robbed. You're a sitting by your fireside with your doodreen in your gob. You're a sitting by your fireside from the clear daylight till the dawn. And I know that you'll never be able for to plough the rocks of Oh, my shoes, they are all worn out. My clothes, they are all thin. And my heart is always a trembling. For fear I uh, might give in 
My heart is always a trembling from the clear daylight till the dawn and I know I'll never be able for to plow the rocks of all. Oh, I wish the Queen of England would send for me in time and put me in some regiment all in my youth and prime. I'd fight for Ireland's glory from the clear daylight till the dawn. And I never would return again for to plow the rocks above. Good. Good. That's better. Good. That's better. Good. That's better. I, I uh, uh, yeah, a few people on Saturday think I ought to sing something tonight, and I won't go into it. I couldn't think of anything appropriate, and then, then I thought, well, perhaps I'll sing something that's totally inappropriate. Yeah, that's but, I, but I've since thought of something appropriate, I don't know which way to go now. So perhaps we'll have a show of hands. First of all, hands up for appropriate. Show of hands couldn't make it. No, <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't afford it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> It, no, no hands went up then, so we'll go for an inappropriate. Inappropriate? Yeah. Yeah. Inappropriate is that. <laughs> oh, a tramp one day came to our door. He said he had no food at all. I said, my friend, that's awful hard. But if you go round to our backyard, me father's in the pigsty. Me father's in the big sky. Me father's in the big sky. You can tell him by his hands. A girl I courted years ago got married to a bloke named Joe. One day I met her on the train. I says, Have you any family, Jane? Oh, yes, I've got six, thank you. Oh yes, I've got six, thank you. Oh yes, I've got six, thank you. Says I, well, don't thank me. <laughs> me and me dad was out one day down in the meadow making a great big bull come running out. Then I heard the farmer shout, don't let him see anything red, sir. Don't let him see anything red, sir. Don't let him say anything, red sir. So I covered up father's nose. Now the girl, no, on the day I married me wife, I thought I was set up for life. She was a good cook, I'd her tell, and served a man's meals up ever so well. She cost me seven and sixpence. She cost me seven and sixpence. She cost me seven and sixpence. I wish I'd bought a dog. <laughs> now the girls all follow the fashion show. Where it'll be to, I don't know. Skirts getting shorter every day. They got a problem, sad to say. For they've two more cheeks to powder. They've two more cheeks to powder. They've two more cheeks to powder and another head to bomb. Well, now I come to the end of me song. Oh, you sung it right or I've sung it wrong. If you think that that's a shame, I'll start all over and sing it again. But I don't mean to do that. I don't mean to do that. I don't mean to do that because I got more sense. <laughs> In Highworth, the white, the, uh, the white Horse. This is the first song I sang there, so it's the first song I sang 
getting back into folk. And Ted said, you want to come to our, come to our club in Swindon? And here I am now. It's got a chorus. I really want you to join in. It's a lesson too late for the learning. Made of sand. Made of sand. In the wake of an eye, my soul is turning. In your hand. In your hand. Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better. Didn't mean to be unkind. I ah, yeah, no, that was the last thing on my mind. As I lie in my bed in the morning, without you, without you. Every song in my breast I was born in Without you, without you Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better Didn't mean to be unkind Oh, you know that was the last thing on my mind don't hear ya. You know this one. As I walk in the park, my thoughts are tumbling round and round, round and round. And beneath my feet, the subway's rumbling underground, underground. I go. left behind Well, I could have loved you better than you mean to be unkind Yeah, no, that was the last thing on my mind You had reasons aplenty for going This I know This I know And the weeds, they've been steadily growing Please don't go, please don't go. Are you going away with no word of farewell? Will there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better, didn't mean to be unkind. Uh, you know, that was the last thing on my mind. Oh, uh, you know, that was the last thing on my mind. Well, you yeah, know that was the last thing on my mind. Not that one. Sorry. Take two. I'm going to try the boom. A lot of you know it. The, the, the room of, uh, wee room. Wee room. Doing in the wee room. Doing in the wee room. Join in, everybody. Doing in the wee room. Doing in the wee room. You know it. I know you did. You were singing it up there. So <laughs> if I if I were okay, you you carry on. I don't know it, so please help. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, dear. What have I, what have I got into? Doon in the wee room, underneath the stairs, everybody's happy, everybody's there, and we're all muck and merry, each in his chair. Where? Doon in the wee room, underneath the stairs, and... What was the next verse? <laughs> Sing the chorus again. 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 Sing the ch
the king he went to hunt him. He's fought and fought to seek. Oh. Eric, uh, come here. Uh, come here. Yeah. Eric. Yeah, please. Eric. Oh. Eric. 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 Come on. Come on, Eric. We need a prompter. It's a prompter, Derek. Eric. Eric. If you're a prompter, you won't be up to. Just get here. Oh. Underneath the stairs, everybody's happy, everybody's there, and the room I'll be merry. Each in his chair, where? Look in the wee room, underneath the stairs. The king he went to hunting, his fortune for to seek. Paradise and waited there a week. Oh no, I can't do it now. Down in the weaver, underneath the stairs, everybody's happy, everybody's there, and we're all mocking merry, each in his chair. Down in the weaver, underneath the stairs. Afternoon, Maggie. I stop myself from shaking. I hadn't planned yeah, to sing, but as Ivy asked me to, then I'm going to oblige Ivy. I was actually down to say some words about Ted, and I've left my notes in my bag, but I'll, I'll do it from my heart. Those who don't know me, I used to live in Swindon, and I was a member of the Swindon Folk Singers Club. I was in Swindon for 19 years, and I only joined the Folk Club in the last year. And I can honestly say it was one of the best years I had in Swindon. And that's down to the members of Swindon Folk Singers Club. And uh, Ted is such, and Ivy, but Ted is he's such a beautiful, warm-hearted person. And I really feel blessed that I was able to share a tiny, tiny part of Ted and Ivy's life. And although it was only a year, I really love both of them very, very dearly. So uh, please join in when I, I, I sing this song. It's a song called Let It Be.
As you notice, I've got to do everything right here. Film, roadie. I wasn't going to sing, but my wife has talked me into it. A gentle protest song. Around the world are young men Having songs of freedom sung them And every dog of war must have his day And the pride of all the nations Standing at their stations Smiling as they wave their lives away With hearts on fire with hearts on fire, with hearts on fire, burning bright. In the land of Davy Crockett, they built themselves a rocket. They say we'll find a new way someday soon. While in Africa, they're crying for the want of food they're dying while others walk around upon the wind their hearts on fire their hearts on fire their hearts on fire burning bright In a blind, deserted alley In the once green rock of Ali A man is sadly searching for his soul And his eyes are open and seen As they took away his living They buried all his pride beneath the coal his heart's on fire, his heart's on fire, his heart's on fire, burning bright. As the Belfast evening thunders, the Lord looks down and wonders, will my children ever live as one? From the church he hears them calling While his bitter tears are falling For this he said, I gave my only son His heart's on fire His heart's on fire His heart's on fire Burning her his heart's on fire, his heart's on fire, his heart's on fire, burning fire. Thank you. Well, we're coming close to the end of this afternoon's proceedings. Thank everybody who came along and sang and contributed to Ted's farewell. I'm sure you would have appreciated it. We're going to finish off now with a song from Dick Miles, who sang at the, the crematorium and he's been singing on one to see us off on the road tonight. Dick Miles. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going to play a slow air for Ted because this is what we do in Ireland.
that ever I've spent, I've spent it in good company. And all the harm that ever I've done, alas, it was to none but me. And all I've done for want of wit to memory, I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Now if I had money enough to spend and leisure for to rest a while, there is a fair maid in this town. I own she has my heart beguiled. Her rosy cheeks, her ruby lips, I own she has my heart enthralled. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be with you all. Now of all the friends that ever I've had, while they're sorry for my going the way, and all the sweethearts that I've had, they would wish me to stay for one more day. But since it falls unto my lot that I should rise and you should not, I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be with you all. I'd just like to say that I've played many years, many, many years at uh, Swindon Folk Club. And I considered it an honour to have met Ted and to have known him and regarded him as a friend. <coughs> and often I've thought of Ted as an example, um, the warmth and encouragement that he's gave to people. I appreciate it and all the turnout this afternoon showed that. And we'll carry on thinking and remembering Ted for a long time. Yes. Here, here. Thanks to everybody who turned up this afternoon to wish Tenor uh, all their respects and regards. Don't forget, if you want to see more of Dick Miles, and who wouldn't, he's at the Swindon Folk Singers Club on Friday night up at the Ashford Road. Be early or you won't get a parking spot. <laughs> and also, there is a piece. Fate at Colt Hill on the 7th of July this year. So if you're interested in that, please go along to that. We much appreciate it. Once again, thank you everybody who turned out today. See you again soon. Bye-bye.